Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel and I've got a great video for you today. I actually just got this amazing kit in the mail. Um, this is from Sephora. It is their Sephora Sun Safety Kit. I believe they come out with these every year, so this is obviously the 2016 version. This is limited edition and I know these are really popular, so hopefully it isn't sold out by the time I upload this video, um, but I will have a link to it down below in case you want to go check it out yourself, which I highly recommend you do. There's tons of great stuff in here. Um, so here you can see the front of the kit. You get all of these items. And then if you turn it over, you get all of these items. So it's an amazing value. Um, the total retail value for this kit is $127, which is pretty pricey, but you only pay $32. So you get an amazing value. There are so many products. I think um, there are 15 total different products in here to try. They're all um, like travel size, but you know, for $32, bucks, I think that's pretty awesome. It's a little over $2 a, a product. Another really awesome thing about this kit, um, it says right here that Sephora will donate $20 from the sale of this kit to the Skin Cancer Foundation. How incredible is that? So $20 from every single kit sold is going to the Skin Cancer Foundation. Um, and I think I've talked about it a little bit on my channel, but uh, skin cancer is something that I am kind of passionate about. Um, over the course of the last like eight or nine years, I've gotten probably a dozen or so moles removed, and three of them ended up being precancerous. And if you guys want, I could do a whole video on my experience with skin cancer. Um, I've never actually had to go through treatments or anything, but I can tell you like the whole mole removal process or, you know, and all that kind of stuff. If that's something that you're interested in? I don't know. Um, if it is, leave me a comment down below. Um, but I have had three uh, precancerous moles and one of them um, that's here on my chest, I will show you. Yeah, okay. Just a tiny little sneak peek because it is not uh, the most prettiest thing looking. So I apologize if that grossed you out. Um, but this one here on my chest just happened last summer and they actually had to go in twice to get everything uh, taken out, like all the nasty cancer cells. Um, so I have like a lovely little keloid scar there. It's really gross. I know. Um, but I would much rather have that and it caught it early enough so that I didn't have to go through any of the other nasty uh, cancer treatments. Um, but anyways, um, let's talk more about this kit. So basically, it's much easier to prevent skin cancer than treat skin cancer. As with pretty much everything in life, I kind of use that as one of my mottos in life, prevent rather than treat. And that is especially true, um, like I said, for uh, skin cancer. And that only does protecting your skin from the sun prevent cancer. It also just prevents wrinkling and premature aging. So this kit is absolutely amazing. Um, I'm sure it's going to sell out. I believe these always do every year. This is, again, I think I said the first time that I've gotten this um, and if it's still available when I post this video there will be a link below um, but let's go ahead and get into the kit and I will show you everything that you can get in it so obviously the first part of this kit is this reusable bag this is actually kind of cute it would be really great to take to the beach or the lake or the pool or whatever because it's um, plastic so it's going to be waterproof um, but now let's get to the stuff that we really care about all the different products so here's the first item in the kit and this is actually not an SPF item this is a sunless tanning item so in case you want to get that beautiful bronze glow during the summer or really any time of year. Um, you can do that with this. This is from Saint Tropez and this is their gradual tan in shower. Like I said, I've not used many sunless tanning products, but I am pretty curious about this. I like how it's called gradual tan, so it's not going to make you super dark right away. Um, you know, it's probably going to take three or four applications before you really see any kind of difference. That's my kind of product, I think, just something kind of subtle. Um, so I'm definitely going to be uh, using this the next time I get in the shower because it just sounds really cool. So I'm really, really excited to try that. Here's the next item from the kit. This is from Murad, and this is their Invisiblur Protecting Shield. This is something that I have used and I was really excited to see that this was included in this kit because it's an awesome product. I actually use this as an SPF on my chest area. Um, I have one that I really like for my face right now, but I didn't want to use it on my chest because that one is tinted. So this is perfect. Um, you could, of course, use this on your face as well. Um, and I think that's probably what it's mostly meant for, but it works really well on your chest area as well. And this is a pretty good sample. I've gone through a couple of these so far and um, each one of them has lasted me like two or three weeks, which I think is pretty good. Um, and I know this stuff is really, really expensive, so I would never purchase a full size, um, but I'm really, really happy to have a sample of it. So moving right along, the next thing is right here. This is from the brand Fresh, and this is one of their sugar lip treatments, and this is in the color Rosé. I 
I've used one of these in the past and honestly it's not my favorite formula um, this one is a really really light sheer tint the other one that I had I don't remember the name but it was a lot deeper in color um, honestly this is probably one of my least favorite items in the kit um, it does have an SPF of course which is really really nice so I'm sure I will use this if I'm just you know running out the door I know I'm gonna be outside for a while if we're going for a walk or whatever um, I will throw this on my lips because it has the protection um, but is this something like I said that I'm very excited about no just because I know that I don't love the uh, formula of these but I will get some use out of it for sure oh and one more thing about the Murad product that I forgot to mention this has SPF 30 in it here's the next item and it is from Shiseido this is the ultimate sun protection cream with broad spectrum SPF 50 and it says that it's good for your face So let me open this up here and see about the texture. Um, it's just a basic white cream. Hopefully it's um, rather mattifying. It rubs in really, really well, which is nice. There's a slight scent, slight kind of sunscreen kind of scent. Um, I don't know that it's super mattifying, but it's kind of got like a silky satin finish to it. Um, I think that it's going to be really, really nice. It might look a little greasy under certain makeups, though, under certain foundations. So I'm um, just looking at this right now, first impression, um, just based on the little swatch on my hand, I think a powder foundation is definitely the way to go with this. But I have one, so I definitely will be able to use that with this. Um, and hopefully they will play well together. But I am really, really excited to try that. All right, moving on to the next item. This is another thing that I have tried in the past. This is from Super Goop. And this is their Defense Refresh Setting Mist with Rosemary. This has an SPF of 50, and I think having a setting spray with an SPF in it is just absolutely genius. Unfortunately, I didn't love this product. I will definitely use it again, but I remember it kind of stinging my skin a little bit when I would spray it on. The stinging didn't last, and it never turned my face red or anything, so I don't think I was allergic to it, um, but it just was a little uncomfortable when I sprayed it on, and the scent was a little off to me, too, if I recall correctly. I believe I got this last summer in an Allure Beauty box, and I remember being really, really excited about this product, and again, the SPF in a setting spray is an absolutely genius idea. Urban Decay, are you listening? Come out with one, because I think it would be a really big seller for you. So I will use this this summer but I don't think I would ever purchase a full size just because I don't really love how it feels on me but the SPF 50 is just awesome. Next up here is a little sample of the Tarte Tarte Guard SPF 30 sunscreen. Now I recently just tried a sample of this and I was actually going to purchase a full size of this before I saw that this kit was available and a uh, full size of this product I think retails for about 30 or 32 dollars so like the same price as this kit basically. I'm glad I held up and found this kit so I did not just buy this uh, so I would be able to try all the different products but I did like this product the one time that I was able to use it from the sample so I'm excited to have a little bit more to play around with. Here's the next item and is actually another makeup setting spray. I had no idea that there was more than one with SPF, so this is really, really exciting. This is from the brand Kula and this is their makeup setting spray with SPF 30. I had no idea that this was in the kit. I kind of just bought it as soon as I saw that it was available knowing that there was going to be so many different sunscreen products in there. Um, so I didn't really look at all the individual items. Um, but now that I know that this is in here, I'm so much more excited about this kit even than I was before. I'm really, really excited that I get to try another makeup setting spray. Hopefully this one works a little bit better for me than the Super Goop one. Um, and if it does, then I would definitely be interested in purchasing a full size of this. I have heard of the brand Kula. I did know that they sold it at Sephora though. I think I've only ever heard of it through like Ipsy bags and birch box and stuff um, but yeah I am super super excited to try that all right so moving right along here's the next item this is from the brand MD solar sciences I've never heard of them and this is their um, mineral cream broad spectrum SPF 50 sunscreen I don't know anything about this product but this looks like it could be good for your body as well as your face maybe um, does it say for all skin types including acne and rosacea prone and sensitive skin um, so this would be good for your face which is nice um, and it says that it has a matte finish so let me go ahead and test this out and see oh I've squirted maybe a little bit too much there that doesn't smell like anything that's really nice and again, this is rubbing in really nice and fast. Sorry, I still have my nail painted from the other day um, when I did a video. What video? Oh, that was my Alert Beauty box. I just never took that nail polish off yet. Uh, yeah, there's no smell, and that is pretty matte, I think. So that is really nice. Um, I am really excited to use that one as well. I just have all these amazing sunscreens now. I'm going to be like a kid in a candy store every morning figuring out which sunscreen I want to use. Next up is something from Clarins, and this is their UV Plus Anti-Pollution uh, Broad Spectrum SPF 50. Again, this one doesn't say if it's meant for your face or your body. Oh, it's kind of squirting out all over here. 
Um, but again, it's just like a little white cream. This one does have a sunscreen scent. But that one also rubbed in really, really quickly, so that is nice. Um, I don't know much about Clarence in general, but I'm really excited to give it a try. Okay, moving on to the next product. It is from Bosha, and this is their BB cream with broad spectrum SPF 27. This doesn't have a specific color, but it says that it's self-adjusting for all skin types. Uh, so let's take a look and see if that really would be true. Uh, so that's what it looks like on my skin. Let's rub it in. Again, not really any kind of scent, which is nice. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, it looks pretty good to me. If you had really, really dark skin, I don't know that this would work for you. Maybe it would, I have no idea, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, this is uh, really nice. This would be nice to just throw on as you're running out the door, you know, just kind of slap this on your face and get out the door. Um, so yeah, again, I'm really excited to try it. The next product in the kit is from Algenist, and this is their Sublime Defense Anti-Aging Blurring Moisturizer with SPF 30. Really, really like the Algenis brand, so I'm excited to try this. I've not tried this product before. That looks a little strange, right? It's like really solid in there. Let's see. Okay, so you can touch it, but oh, that's an odd texture. There's a slight smell, but not not too bad. Is this still good? Yeah, it doesn't expire until uh, 2018, so I guess that's just how the product is. Um, again, it's rubbing in uh, rather fast, so that uh, looks like it'll be good to try. It looks almost like a chocolate mousse kind of texture. Very strange. Oh, as I drop it on the floor. Next here is something from Peter Thomas Roth. This is their Max Sheer All Day Moisture Defense Lotion uh, with SPF 30. So they do say that this is specifically for your face and neck. So let's again give this a little try and see what uh, kind of texture it has. Pretty basic, just like all the rest of them. A very strong sunscreen scent on this one. This smells like straight up copper tone. Rubbing in fairly quickly though, um, and I'm sure you could use this on other parts of your body as well. Um, and what was the SPF on this one? Um, SPF 30, and it says that it is oil-free and anti-aging. All right, so just a few more items left. The next thing is from Kate Somerville, and this is her Daily Deflector Moisturizer with Broad Spectrum SPF 50. I don't know that I've tried much from Kate Somerville before. Maybe I tried like a little sample of a moisturizer from her or something, but other than that, I haven't tried much. There's a little safety seal on here, which I always appreciate. Um, let's see what the texture on this one is. And again, this is meant for your face. Oh, uh, let's see. Again, pretty basic. That's kind of uh, what all these look like. And again, this kind of has a pretty good sunscreen smell or a pretty strong sunscreen smell. They might all kind of be blending together since I've just been putting everything on my hand, but yeah, I think, I think that does. This one feels a little bit greasier than some of the others, uh, so I don't know how much I will personally like it. I'm definitely going to give this a try. Well, I'm going to try all of them, of course, um, but just right out the bat, you know, first impression, it feels a little bit greasier than some of the others, and I generally like a more mattifying uh, SPF. Here's the second to last item that you get in the kit. It is from Dr. Dennis Gross, and this is their Dark Spot Sun Defense Sunscreen with SPF 50. Again, this is a product that I have not tried before, so let's test it out and see if it's just another basic white cream. Ten bucks that it is. I can open this. Goodness. There we go. Woohoo, I'm ten dollars richer. Um, okay, so let's see uh, if it has any kind of smell. Oh, that smells funky. Yeah, that has an odd uh, scent to it. It's not um, like super offensive or anything, but it just caught me off guard. That That is not what a sunscreen typically smells like. Um, it doesn't feel greasy or anything, so that's good. Um, so again, I will uh, put this to the test and see if I like it. So we have reached the very last item in the kit. It is from Dr. Jart, and this is their BB Beauty Balm with SPF 45. I think I've tried this before. I think I had like a little foil packet of it. And if I remember correctly, if this is the thing that I'm thinking of, it was a really, really gray toned BB cream, so it didn't really work for my skin. Um, that's what it looks like. Let me blend it in here. Yeah, it definitely is um, very gray toned with a lot of gray cool undertones. So I, I don't know how well this will work for me. It kind of makes my uh, hand look a little odd, I think, at least in this lighting it does. Um, so I don't know if I will use this product. Maybe I'll give it a try when I'm just kind of hanging around at the house for the weekend or something and go outside and take a look and see what it looks like on my face. But who knows, maybe this is another product that I was thinking of and it'll work really well for me. 
So that was everything that was included in the Sephora Sun Safety Kit for 2016. A ton of really great products to try. Um, one thing I did notice that was kind of missing was like a body uh, sunscreen. Now this Tarte Guard might be more meant for your body, but I think you can use it on your face as well. And I know all of the face ones you could definitely use on your body, but there really wasn't anything that like just specifically said, you know, just for your arms and legs and stuff. Not that big of a deal because you can use all of these different products anywhere that you have skin that you need to protect from the sun. Um, and then also I did go through all of the products to check for expiration dates and all of them had them except for four. And one of them that didn't have an expiration date was the Sunless Tanner and since there's no SPF in here an expiration date isn't completely necessary. Then just to let you know the other three that didn't have expiration dates were the one from Shiseido, the one from Clarins, and then the um, Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment. And since this is a brand new kit I'm sure all three of these will be good for at least a year. Um, everything else had an expiration date of at least a year out. A lot of them uh, don't even expire until 2018 so you have a long time to use these products and get some good use out of them. So I want to of course thank you so much for watching today and remember if you go out in the sun be sure to put some SPF on. It's super super important um, and let me know in the comments down below if you have used any of these products. I'd be curious to hear what you guys think about them but I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. We can also connect on Instagram. I post over there all the time. There will be a link in the description box below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!